If you know me, you know how much I love to shill Arch Linux. I tell people at the family gathering I use Arch, by the way. I make an annoying amount of videos about Arch Linux all the time, but you might be wondering why I push it so much. And believe it or not, there is actually a reason behind all of the madness. So as you probably know, Arch Linux is my favorite Linux distro, because Arch Linux is the only distro for me that just works. I think that Arch Linux is the easiest distro, and also the one that saves me the most time. Now, this is going to sound pretty funny, but I promise you I'm not being ironic. Because everything you always hear about Arch Linux is the opposite of that. Now, none of that is actually true, as I'll explain in this video. And the reason I like Arch Linux is because it's the only distro where I don't have to fight with the distro to get everything done. Now, what am I talking about? Let's take one example, and probably the thing that Arch Linux is most famous for. Let's talk about installing packages. So on Arch, a lot of people take this for granted, but installing any piece of software is trivially easy with Arch Linux. And this is because of the AUR. If you don't know what this is, imagine a wonderland with every piece of software that you could ever find. Do you want a version of Spotify with Adblock built in? Well, you can find it in the AUR. Do you want an uwu version of NeoFetch? It's in the AUR. Basically, any piece of software that you would ever want to try out or test is in the AUR already. And not only that, but Arch Linux is a rolling release distro, which basically means that all of the software is up to date. A lot of software on Linux expects you to have the most up-to-date version. Like, let's take this window manager that I'm using, Hyperland. And this is the absolute best window manager if you want your desktop to look cool, which in computing, everyone knows that that is the most important part. So if you want to install this window manager and look cool on Reddit, it requires not just installing it, but also installing all of its dependencies. And they all have to be up-to-date. And if you want to do something like this on another distro, say Ubuntu, it's going to be very difficult. Look, the authors of this even say as much on their website. Especially if you've ever wanted to try out a tiling window manager instead of something like GNOME or KDE. Maybe GNOME removed your favorite feature and now you want to try out a window manager. It's just easier in Arch. Because when I used Ubuntu, if I wanted to install a piece of software, I would constantly have annoyances. Like, if I wanted to install some software that's not in the main repositories or get the most up-to-date version of some software, I would have to install some weird PPA, or maybe use some weird mishmash of snaps, flat packs, app images, and packages from the native package manager to actually find any software. And some software you just can't find in there, you're just going to have to compile it from source. And the snap and the flat pack is not always updated. It's basically just a huge mess. And I remember back in the day using Ubuntu and trying to install i3 gaps. This was the coolest thing back in the day. And trying to install it on Ubuntu was a nightmare. On Arch Linux, it's literally just one command in the terminal. And it's not just Ubuntu. Everybody likes to make fun of Ubuntu. But when I used Debian, it was the same thing. If I wanted to use the latest software, it was a struggle. Even some other distributions that are based on Arch Linux, I have trouble with. Like, I made a whole other video on Manjaro. It seems like an easier version of Arch Linux, but the changes they make really just makes it less stable than Arch proper. And I was actually ready to give up on Linux before I used Arch. Because before I switched to Arch, I even went back to Windows because nothing just worked the way I wanted it to. Another example of something that just works on Arch is the wiki. So this is a giant compendium of knowledge on the internet that basically shows you how to do everything on Arch Linux yourself. And this actually makes it much easier than, again, something like Ubuntu. If something breaks on Ubuntu, you're not really sure what happened, and you usually have to search through years-old forum posts to find the solution, and that's even if you find the solution. On Arch, you have to do everything yourself. And a lot of people say this like it's a bad thing, like, oh, you have to do everything yourself, what a waste of time. But I see it completely the opposite way. It allows you to do everything and fix everything yourself. And that gives you a lot of freedom. Because if you have some annoyance or frustration on Ubuntu or Windows or Mac OS, most of the time you're just going to have to deal with it. But on Arch, you can always do something about it. With Arch and the wiki, yes, you have to find the solution yourself, but this is ironically much easier and faster than something else like Ubuntu. Because you start to get good at it. On Ubuntu, if you fix something, normally someone will point you to, you have to click this setting in this menu, and it will change it. 
but you didn't really learn anything. All you learned to do is click a couple of buttons. But on Arch, after all this time that you spend on the wiki, a lot of things start to just make sense. And you now know how to do a whole lot of things by yourself. I've never had to make a single forum post asking for help in my life. I just know how to do it thanks to the wiki. And I never had that freedom using a different distribution. Now it might seem a little bit scarier than clicking on buttons in a menu because you have to open up the command line and go into some system files and configure things that way. But once you get used to it, it becomes a lot easier and faster than anything else. It's like once you try it this way, you'll never go back to the old way of doing things. But you've probably also heard how much time you're going to sink into Arch Linux. Because like I said, you have to do everything yourself. Oh no. But I will say that the time sink factor is not really a thing because I always spent more time configuring things on other distros. Now, I will admit the initial learning curve and setup time is definitely higher on Arch, but it is all an upfront cost. You spend a couple of weeks being less productive, but it really starts to pay off afterwards. It's like learning to use Vim or learning to type properly. Like, let's take touch typing as an example. So if you're learning how to type for the first time, at first you're going to be less productive and it will take more time to do the same thing. And at first it seems totally useless, but after you get over that initial hump, you will start to save time. Now let's take this weird tiling window manager setup I have in Arch Linux. I had to configure all of this by myself, but after the initial setup, finding something I'm happy with. Like the window manager I was using for a while, BSPWM, I found at the recommendation of others. And after you do the initial setup of keyboard shortcuts, finding a terminal emulator that you like, finding some programs that work for you, that's it. You're literally done. So I tinkered around with my system a lot in the first month. But after that, I spent almost no time configuring or fixing anything. People in the Linux space like to talk about distro hopping or window manager hopping or desktop environment hopping. But after I started using Arch, I never did any of that because I was just happy with what I had. Now, before I discovered Arch, I did do a lot of distro hopping. I went from Ubuntu to Debian to Fedora to Manjaro with even more in between those. But after I switched to Arch, I almost never changed anything, not even my window manager or anything like that, because I had a fast, efficient workflow and I don't really need to change anything. In fact, the only reason I've ever changed things in my setup over the past few years is because of this channel, because I want to show off new things to you. If I never had this YouTube channel, I probably would have never changed my setup. And even with this channel, I've only changed my setup literally once in the past three or four years. And I always hear about other distros that are better than Arch, like maybe Artix is better because it has a better init system, or maybe Gentoo is better because it gives you more control and customizability than Arch. And that all may very well be true, but the thing is, I'm happy with what I'm using now because it just works. So I don't feel like I have to switch to anything new. I don't have any desire to. Like I said, I just want to get my work done. And tinkering around all day on my distro, I don't really mind it. It's kind of fun, but I'd rather just do real work. For me, Arch Linux is the only distro that just gets out of my way and lets me do my work. I don't even think of myself as using Arch Linux. I know I like to meme about Arch Linux all the time, but I really don't think about it that much. Again, to compare it to Vim, I feel like it's the quickest way for my thoughts to go into my computer. So I've heard Vim described as being able to edit text at the speed of thought. So with Vim, you're going to be able to edit text so fast that you don't even have to think about it. And to me, Arch Linux is computing at the speed of thought. With something else, some other distro or Windows or Mac OS, I always find myself frustrated by something or another on my computer, and it always just takes me out of my work. I just don't have these moments on Arch. If I want to, say, install some software, I don't have to search around the web or compile it from source or chase around dependencies. I just type one command in my terminal and it's done. So I would say, at least for me, Arch Linux is probably the only reason that I still use Linux to this day. It just solved all of my annoyances with Linux. Because you've probably seen these posts on Reddit or something where some guy is like, I used Linux for a month and it sucked. That's why I'm going back to Windows, nerds. And everybody always gets mad. There's a bunch of angry Redditors calling each other names and getting downvoted in the comments. But I actually legitimately agree with a lot of these people who complain about Linux. Because when I wasn't using Arch and to a lesser extent tiling window managers, I just did not have a great experience using Linux. 
I'm not going to defend something like Ubuntu and say, actually, the Linux desktop experience is amazing. Because that's just not what makes me excited about Linux. And that's why you'll never catch me doing a distro review of the latest version of Ubuntu. And that's why I'm going to always keep shilling Arch Linux. So give it a try if you haven't already. Get your grandma to install Arch Linux. And I'll see you next time.